Well, boys and girls, I'm going to read an informational text for you called Teensy Weensy Animals. It's a little tiny animal on top of the apple. It's by Joan Emerson. Teensy Weensy Animals by Joan Emerson. Scholastic Incorporated is the publisher. Animals come in all shapes and sizes. Some are big, some are small, some are short, and some are tall. This book will introduce you to some of the smallest creatures from the air, land, and sea. If you look carefully, you'll find that teensy weensy animals are all around. Dwarf Sloth. Would you believe that as a baby, the dwarf sloth is shorter than an adult human's finger? Even when it is full grown, it will still be small enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Yet the dwarf sloth is special for more than just its small size. For one thing, its fur is slightly green. Also, this little guy can turn his head all the way around. Sumatran Rhino. Usually the rhinoceros is not considered a small animal. An adult African rhino wears, weighs more than six, more than a pickup truck. But the Sumatran rhino is six times smaller than its giant rhino relative. The smallest member of the rhino species lives in the rainforest of Southeast Asia and has existed for over one million years. But today there are fewer than 300 left in the world. Fairy penguin. This tiny penguin is the smallest of all 17 penguin species. It is just slightly larger than a carton of eggs. Usually a penguin's feathers are black and white, but the fairy penguin has spots of blue too. While many penguins live in the snow and ice of Antarctica, the fairy penguin makes its home in Australia and New Zealand. Dwarf Gecko. The dwarf gecko found on the Caribbean island of Beef in the Dom Dominican Republic is the smallest known lizard in the world. It is less than an inch long. That's the size of a penny. Like bigger geckos, the dwarf gecko has transparent eyelids. To, to keep them clean, they lick their eyelids with their tongues. Silky Anteater. The Silky Anteater lives in the tropical rainforests of Mexico and South America. This tiny animal is the smallest of all anteater species. It is no larger, no longer than a pencil. The Silky Anteater travels through trees by using its tail to swing from branch to branch. And of course, like other anteaters, it eats mostly ants. It can devour up to 8,000 ants in just one night. The wolf eye or wolfy octopus. The wolfy octopus lives in the Indian and Pacific Oceans and is the smallest of all 300 species of octopus. The world's largest octopus is as long as a school bus, but the wolfie is only the size of a paper clip. It may be the world's smallest octopus, but the wolfie still has eight arms just like all the oct other octopuses. That interesting. The Etruscan Shrew. 
Yetruscan shrew is no longer than a child's pinky finger. And it isn't only the smallest kind of shrew, it actually weighs less than any other land mammal on the planet. Yet this small animal can still eat a lot. The Etruscan shrew eats up to twice its body weight each day. That's a lot of worms. World's smallest dog. As a baby, Millie the Chihuahua could fit, fit in a teaspoon. Her owner wanted to make sure she was healthy and safe, so Millie drank milk from an eyedropper and slept inside a doll's crib. With her owner's help, Miracle Millie grew bigger and stronger, yet she still only weighs one pound. In 2013, this earned her the title of the world's smallest dog. Munchkin cat. The munchkin cat looks like any other cat with one big difference. It's very short legs. A munchkin cat's body stands only about six inches off the ground. Its legs may be short, but its personality is big. That's why so many people around the world like to keep this friendly and playful cat as a pet. Short legs. Pygmy goat. Pygmy goats first came from West Africa. In the 1950s, they were brought to zoos in the United States. Now, a lot of people keep pygmy goats as pets. They are around 20 to 25 inches tall and about 50 pounds. That's about as small as a medium-sized dog. Royal Antelope. At home in the African rainforest, the Royal Antelope gets the crown for being the smallest species of antelope. Most antelopes are about the size of a small horse, but the Royal Antelope is only the size of a small lap dog. Could you imagine cuddling with one on your couch? Pedophrine Amenusis frog. There are plenty of small frogs in the world, but the Pedophrine Amenusis frog is the smallest. It is small enough to fit in the center of a dime. For a long time, no one knew this little frog existed. In 2012, scientists discovered it in the rainforest of Papua New Guinea. The Pedo Pedophrine Amenusis isn't just the smallest frog, it's also the smallest vertebrate on the earth. Look at that. It's on a dime. Pygmy elephant. Mouse, hamster, bunny, elephant? Elephants aren't usually thought of as small animals but the pygmy elephant is much smaller than the elephants you see at the zoo. Found in the jungles of Borneo, the pygmy elephant has large ears, straight tusks, and a long tail that sometimes drags on the ground when it walks. Looks like he's smiling. Robor Roborovsky hamster. Dwarf hamsters are half the size of regular hamsters. And of all these little dwarf hamsters, the Roborovsky Rob hamster is the smallest. It is shorter than a crayon and can fit in the palm of your hand. Sometimes called the Robo hamster, it was first discovered in Russia, China, and Kazakhstan. Today, kids all over the world keep them as pets.
I hope you enjoyed that story uh, or that book, informational text about Teensy Weensy Animals. See you later. Bye.